This sold for $335.72 plus shipping. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit on eBay. I'm gonna tell you where she got it, what she paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started. Who are we talking about? We are talking about The Merchant's Shop. This is her eBay store. And you can check it out down below. Make sure that you give it a follow by clicking on the heart. That will save her as a seller. And you'll get updates when she posts new items and if she sends out a coupon. Here is her eBay store. Now, she hasn't done a whole lot of uh, footage yet. Not a whole lot of reseller content. But she does have a couple videos. And they are definitely worth watching. So go give her a follow or a subscribe over on YouTube. Show her some love with a sub is what I like to say. All right, let's check out her bolos. The first item here is this mixer. It is a vintage 1938 Hamilton Beach mixer. Would you have picked it up or walked past it? I can tell you what I would have done. I would have walked past it. Why? Because I would not want to ship it. <laughs> I'm a lazy reseller. I've told you guys that before. I do not like shipping stuff like this. Um, but anyway, that's my loss and somebody else's gain because I'm passing by this stuff. She got this at a thrift store for 15 and took a best offer of 115.32. That is awesome. Another item I would walk right past because I would not want to ship it. These are beautiful. Um, I would probably look at them and then I would just keep walking because those stems, look at those stems. How do you even ship that? Okay, so for all of you peeps out there that have YouTube channels and you ship things like this, we need videos. We need videos of how you are shipping these items. Vintage and poly olive green hand-blown glass twisted stem candle holders. Wow. Uh, let's see. She got these on Facebook Marketplace in a giant glass lot. Paid $100 for many, many pieces. So probably about 10 for this set. Buyer all in for $58.51. So she did take a offer and she said this one sat for a really long time. So it was um, a long tail item. Look at this stunning piece of art. Wow. 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 That is incredible. Look how pretty it is. Great photos. Studio art glass paperweight abstract bubbles swirl purple blue signed. So it is signed. It's hard to see. But it has bubbles in it. And sometimes these are called controlled bubbles. Sometimes you'll see that in the titles. I really don't understand if this is controlled bubbles or not. I'm going to say not. I think controlled bubbles are where they're like lined up where they have in intentionally put the bubbles in the spots. You guys let me know down in the comments. She got this at a high bid local auction, paid $5 and buyer was all in for $113.74 on this paperweight. These are really cool. Another thing I would have walked past. The paperweight, I would ship that. These, oh, I can make myself ship things like this, but again, I just don't prefer it. It would probably take me over an hour to ship this. 1962 Seattle World's Fair Frosted Glasses Tumbler Set of Eight, Century 21 Exposition, and found free from a post estate sale. Come and get it. Facebook po uh, market Facebook Marketplace post. <laughs> Buyer paid asking all in for 114.81 for those. So they're really great, great colors and graphics. Really cool. Paragon teacup saucer to the bride. Gardenia, gardenia, gardenia. Is that a flower? Gardenia. I think it is. I think this is the flower. Look at this set. Double warrant black scallop footed. Here you go. Here's what your bottom looks like. Would you have ever guessed this sold for 
$335.72 plus shipping. She got it at an estate sale for $6. That is fantastic. American Brilliant Crystal Diamond Low Bowl Sawtooth Scallop Heavy Deep. Wow, that's a lot of keywords. That is beautiful. And I love that she used a black background for this. That was really, really clever. Very clever. Uh, let's see. What's it say? Sold in 15 minutes of listing. Took a best offer. Buyer was all in for $290.95. This one here is a vintage 1964 Skipper Red Dress Sun Hat Barbie Japanese exclusive almost complete set. Purchased at high bid auction for 15. Took a best offer of, uh, doesn't say, but the buyer was all in for $217.75. So with shipping. She's giving you the all in price. Vintage blue press glass decanter genie bottle vase diamond textured made in Italy. So lots of great keywords. Let's see if we have a marking maybe on the bottom. Yep, right there. Made in Italy. That is important. Put that in your title. Part of a vintage glass lot on Facebook Marketplace. Took a best offer. Buyer was all in for $94.70. Here is more stuff that I would not want to ship. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine shipping this? You guys that ship glass all the time, you're probably like, it's not that hard. Vintage 1950s. Figgyo Joe, Figgyo Gojo. I'm saying that wrong. It's F I G G J O. Flint, Norway. Uh, Dimitas, Dimitas. I'm going to just act like I know what I'm talking about. Dimitas, Espresso Gold Guild Cup Saucers, set of six. What if I talk like that, you guys? <laughs> Would you like me more? Oh my goodness. What if I was sophisticated? Let's see. Purchase from a yard sale for $5, sold for full asking price of $91 plus shipping. And let's see what they look like on the bottom. There is your mark. And look at that picture. Lots of time setting this listing up. Lots of great photos. Look how pretty they are on the inside. Those are pretty cool. This is a 40 Winks framed watercolor art print by Kay McDonough. Donahay. 2005 Sleeping Tabby Cat. I may have pronounced that name wrong. More than likely I did. Found at a Humane Society thrift store for 15. Buyer paid full asking of 108. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Paid full asking of 79.80. Was all in for 108.50. These are a set of five um, 1847 Charter Oak Table Soup Spoons Rogers Extra Small Triple Silver Plate M Mono. So number one, I'm looking for the monogram here. Where are they monogrammed at? Right here. So they are monogrammed. I will tell you that items that are monogrammed when it's silverware is harder to find because you're looking for that specific buyer that wants that letter. Silver plate, um, that means it is just plated. It is not sterling or you know fully it, it's plated so it's not going to go for as much if you can find sterling silverware oh my goodness big money bolo but these did great uh she's actually sold quite a few these spoons were from her aunt's estate took a best offer buyer was all in for 85 84 for five spoons silver plate spoons here's another one of those awesome paperweights this one is Ocean Swirl Blue Green signed. And it's signed by that same artist. So I don't know if um, that's some special artist or if it's just sold for so much because it's just stunning. They're beautiful. Found at the local high bid auction, paid 15, had to fight for this one. Buyer was all in for 53.67. So she did take a best offer. Vintage Mexican folk art pottery, iron candle, hanging collage, wall sconce, angel trio. Goodwill, $9.99 for the whole set on 30% off day. Took best offer of $69.58. Oh, buyer was all in for $69.58. Sorry, I got to get used to that verbiage. Jesus is Lord. Check this out. This is awesome. I love the colors. Wood carving here. Uh, let's see. 
groovy retro religious wall decor from the 70s. And she got this at the Goodwill for $1.99. It took a best offer and the buyer was all in for $40.31. This is a Mexican folk art pottery tree of life and it's Adam and Eve and the serpent. Check it out. How interesting is that? Have you ever seen anything like this? It's got some damage, but wow, wow, wow. I mean, wow. I wonder how old it is. It's pretty incredible. It's really incredible. Let's see. Found at the Humane Society for three bucks and the buyer took a best offer. Buyer was all in for 75.10. This is an antique Weller La Welsa, Luelsa, L-O-U-W-E-L-S-A, Luelsa, pottery brown glaze stein mug, hand-painted pear fruit. And I don't see where it looks like it might have a chip. I don't see where it's signed anywhere. So I'm not sure how she, unless maybe she Google lensed it. That would be interesting to know is how she identified the actual um, artist. But that is stunning. Paid a dollar at the Goodwill bins. Buyer paid full asking price all in for $80.97. The next item here is this uh, vintage 70s Philadelphia 76ers felt NBA basketball pennant men's cave sports. So she's got some keywords in there to drive people to the listing. And this one she got... On Facebook Marketplace, she bought a whole lot, paid $3, took best offer, and the buyer was all in for $70.55. This is a mid-century glass, and it says it's a vase, Osaka, or let's see, Osaka, Osaka, O-S-A-K-A, vase, Rudolf Jernikel <laughs> for, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Liba Chavasi. <laughs> anyway, Sunburst Bohemia. How interesting is this? Check out that vase. She got this at the Goodwill for $6.99 and took a uh, best offer. The buyer was all in for $77.94. This next item is a Fitz and Floyd Witch Capel. Capel. Witch Hazel Tall Taper candle holder halloween black cat so flits and floor it can do really well always look it up if you see it this one has the original box uh this is from 2003 so not super super old but definitely retired she got it found at a local thrift store from a facebook marketplace ad she said i booked it over there to buy what they had paid five dollars and took a best offer buyer was all in for 85.60 this is a two, a set of two, 3D resin photography, city street art, mixed media, foil signed Julia Gardner. So this is artist made. And let's see if we got anything on the back right here. There's your information. So probably a local artist somewhere, perhaps, but still sells, still sells. Paid $3 maybe, Goodwill bins, took a best offer. The buyer was all in for $65.75. This next item is a vintage Asian wood display stand based rectang rectangle plant statue geometric oriental gold. Check that out. And she got this Asian wood display found from local high bid auction. Paid $37 for a lot and the other piece was the one I wanted. This was a bonus. Took a best offer and the buyer was all in for $43.68. So this was, um, she was buying something maybe for personal use or to resell that was in the lot. And this was just kind of a bonus item. Gotta love that. Forbidden Archaeology, The Hidden History of the Human Race. Michael Cremo signed. Ooh, it's signed. Let's see. Where's it signed? There you go. She got this. Found at another come and get it post estate sale Facebook marketplace for free. Buyer accepted offer and it they were all in for $63.16. So she must have an estate company around her that says just come get it. So that would be cool. 
Vintage John Deere tractor service manual found on high bid auction, paid a dollar. Buyer accepted the offer and was all in for $55.65 for this. This is a vintage pink cowrie shell basket, wire Easter seashell nautical boho ethnic small. It's a shell. It's made out of shells. So somebody probably handcrafted this. She said, found at the Goodwill for $2.99. Always look up the shell art. Some are really valuable. And this basket was three inches. Took a best offer and buyer was all in for $37.89. This next item is a Hello Kitty. Look up all Hello Kitty. Some of them will surprise you. This one is a, in a kimono dress. And she got this at the bins for around 50 cents. Buyer accepted offer and was all in for $30.33. Here is an applause. Sad Sam plush puppy dog with a pink bow. Graduate of the new year of the year news. So holding a little newspaper there. Found in a free pile. Accepted a best offer and the buyer was all in for 2019. Here's a ever after high doll. Cupid throne coming dress, earrings, wings, shoes, cuffs, and no mask. So she's telling you what the doll includes because people will be specifically looking for items that they have lost. She got it at the Goodwill bins for 50 cents. She said buyer paid full asking all in for 51.81. Now this next one may surprise you a little bit. Um, you hear all the time that Avon bottles are not worth anything. And in most cases, you know, you're not going to make big money on them. But if you can get them for the right price, they do sell. These have the original boxes. That definitely makes them more collectible. She said, Avon bottles free find by my besties hubby. He found over 100 vintage in a box Avon bottles for me at an estate sale leftover free pile. And you can't beat free. Uh, buyer paid full asking all in for 4031. And I think that is for this um, last set. But you can see she has sold two others as well. So would I pick up decanters that are Avon? Personally, no. Number one, they're breakable. If they had the box, probably still no, just because I think they're probably going to be long tail. She didn't mention how long those had been sitting, but she got them free and they are selling. So definitely keep that in mind. There are some Avon products that can go for big money. I actually just did a video on certain brooches that are Avon that can go for big money. So definitely check that out. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a video down below and a subscribe button. Be sure to go over and subscribe to her YouTube channel and check out her eBay store. Those are linked down below. And as always, thanks for watching.